I'm just studying the, the base of a sitting bull. Cheek no, it needs to go out just a little bit more on both sides. Boy, he really had a pronounced jawline. Get busy. Let's get busy. I ran the store and got some uh, lighter fluid so I can smooth out the clay. But I also found this uh, candle. Um, it's a 100 hour plus candle emergency essentials uh, by BePrepared.com. Um, I'm always looking for something to clean my uh, tools with. And let's see how this works. It's not a huge flame, but it's enough to uh, clean my tools. Since this is a wax-based or Vaseline-based clay, it makes it easy to clean by just heating the tool up. Anyway, just thought you'd like to see that. Alright, what I do is I got this uh, oil painter's brush. And the reason I use an expensive brush like an oil painter's brush is because it doesn't shed hair. You get the cheap uh, brushes and they tend to shed the hair. Alright, what this uh, lighter fluid does is just melts the clay. Something in the fluid has that uh, property. And uh, it just takes out the uh, the roughness in areas. That's as far as I'm going to go on the face. What I'm going to do now is uh, work on his hand.
it takes a while for this stuff to uh, evaporate to where you can actually work it. So a lot of this stuff that I'm hitting with this uh, lighter fluid won't be ready to work on until an hour or two from now. I mean, it's you could, but it makes, makes it difficult because the clay doesn't want to stick and and all that stuff. I'm going to do the uh, other uh, braid right now. This is the way I do the braid. I just uh, set up my three uh, parts of the braid and I just very carefully and gently braid. do now is just put some texture in it. This has got a serrated edge on the uh, end of the tool so I'm just making it look like fur with a little fur texturing. I don't want to overdo it because uh, it's a fine fur. It's a otter skin and uh, that tends to be a real light fur. the wraps on it. There we go. fill in back here. Just makes it easier on the casters and the uh, mold maker.
All right, that's going to be it for now. Uh, next time I'll be starting a new piece. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. I got a kind of an idea. But, uh, all right, until next time. Happy sculpting.